Hello, my old school soul food. Family, subscribers, fans. I'm Chef Jeffrey back with another cooking video here. And today, we'll be making one of my favorite pies. Seems like all pies are my favorite. I'm going to be making a banana cream pie. Very simple ingredients. Egg, sugar, butter, vanilla, milk. That's it, cornstarch. That's pretty much it. Before I get started, like every video, I want y'all to uh, subscribe to my channel here. If you're just watching and watch, subscribing, you're going to miss out some good, awesome videos weekly that I post. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Please comment. I'll reply as many comments as I can. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get started. Also, the recipe is in the description of the video. Uh, at the end of the video. So, if I go too fast, if something you miss, just go to the end and I'll have a complete recipe there. Okay, I got some milk heating up here. Trying to warm it up a little, heat it up a little. Also, I got a preheated 8 inch deep dish pie shell. It's already cooked completely. Some of my pie shells are par baked, but this one I'm not going to cook this pie anymore. So, I completely cooked it, completely done. Okay, I got the milk heating up. I got corn starch and sugar here mixed together. I'm gonna pull that in here really slowly. This in here really good here. Pull all that in there. Get it stirred up. And you have to, when you add the corn starch and sugar mixture into the warm milk, you gotta make sure you completely stir this thing because you don't want it to lump up on you because it's gonna get thick pretty quick. So you don't want it to, you don't want any lumps in your, in your mix there. Kind of fires up there. Like I say, this recipe is very, very simple. It takes about two or three minutes to come to the complete thickness. Like I say, to me, this is like banana pudding in a pie shell. A little thicker than my banana pudding because you're going to actually slice it instead of scoop it. Oh, yeah, that's thickening up really good. Corn starch is coming to a to the thickness. four minutes to come to a boil. Also in here, I have two egg yolks and two whole eggs mixed together. What we're gonna do when this thickens up, we're gonna temper these eggs. Because if I pour these eggs into this hot mixture, if you've been cooking long enough, you'll know it'll scramble these eggs. And you'll have scrambled eggs in the banana cream pot and the filling won't be smooth like it should be. So you want to bring this up to a boil. And this will get real, real thick. See, here's the, you see the thickness getting really thick. See how thick that's getting? Pick that back. Okay, now we're gonna turn this down. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna take a little of this off of here and pour into this egg mixture. I can temper this. Okay, put it back on the fire. 
want to mix some of the pudding in here to bring this into temperature. And then we're going to add it in, back into the pot here. That's it. <coughs> the egg, uh, really, it, 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 it serves two purposes. And not only going to thicken it, it's going to give it that nice yellow look there. See how yellow it got? Pudding got really thick. That's what you want. Look how thick that is. That's what you want. And let it cook a little bit more. No time at all. Cook. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pour it into the bowl here. And I'm gonna add my butter into this and the vanilla. And stir that up in here in the bowl. It gives it that extra flavor and it gives it your pudding that shine. That's it. Now, now what we're gonna do, see how the pudding is what you want. Nice smooth. See how smooth that is? And as it cool, believe me, this thing gonna get really thick. Okay. Now, we're gonna set this aside because this is what you can do. You have two options. My option is to put it in here while it's hot on the banana. The reason is I like for it to all soak up in it. And you can let the pudding cool also and then <coughs> add the, uh, put into the banana, but I'm gonna add it while it's hot. So we're gonna slice the bananas up here. Get them all sliced up. And what I like to do, I like to layer mine like banana pudding. Okay, mine I like to add a little barrier to the bottom of the shell. Then I add some bananas to it, like this. There's no science to this. I like to layer mine around really nice there. Putting on top. Some more bananas on top.
chest. I like a lot of bananas in my banana cream pie. Probably one. Why are you putting so many bananas? When I cut it, I like to see a lot of bananas. bit more filling on top. I don't want to flow over too much. Just on this side. And that's it. Now what we're gonna do next, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator, let it cool, and when we come back, we're going to make the whipped cream to go on top to make the banana cream. Can't be a banana cream without the cream. So we got the banana part. Put this in the refrigerator. Then we're going to come back and do the cream part. So we'll be back in a couple hours. All right. Okay, y'all, we back here. And you see the pie is firmed up. The banana cream pie is all firm here. And now it's time to make the cream to go up on top of it. So I'm going to use a couple of cups of cream, which is one pint. And all I put is, is heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla. Very simple. Very simple ingredients here. You know, I had some leftover pudding left, and I made some individual banana pudding with the leftover pudding. So that's something you can do too with the leftover pudding. You may go get it banana pudding. Let's just mix up here. And you have to watch this because uh, you don't want to over mix it. If you over whip it, it's going to turn to butter. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. Now I chill this for about two hours, two and a half, three hours. And you can see it's all set up really, really nice. this a little bit more, a little bit more, not much. In fact, I think I'm going to add a little bit more powdered sugar to it. It ain't quite sweet like I want it. Sugar not only sweetness, it adds as a stabilizer to the cream. Put it in the center and then go towards the edge. First, we're gonna get it all on there. Yeah, that's gonna be a big slice of pie when we slice it later. 
Okay. Now we're gonna go color the edges here, seal the edges. Looks like you put moraine on the pie. You go the center out, center out, remember that. Center out. Very simple. Very simple and easy. There we go. Now we're just going to make a little designs on here. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I like to put a little pecans on mine for just for garnish, you know. Just garnish on there. Some people put sliced bananas on top, but I don't do that because the bananas will turn black. And uh, to me, it won't look good. I just put a few pecans, chopped pecans on mine. And that's it. And we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about one more hour. And I'm going to come back and we're going to cut it and I'm going to show you how it looks. All right, we'll be back in an hour. Okay, y'all, we back here. We're going to cut this up here and see what we got here. See if we do a good job. Old school. Old school. Old school as you can get. Trying to get this suck out of here. Not gonna be easy, y'all. Alright, let's see if we can get that. Old school banana cream pie, y'all. Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm hmm. Look at that. Mm. You get a part. Banana off in there. Look at that. Flaky crust. Look at that. Mm hmm. Try this. Old school style. Oh, yeah. Nice and creamy. A lot of bananas in there. I'll try this recipe. Like I say, recipe is in the description of the video. And until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.